welcome to the BBE Report. Bold thoughts, black issues, and educated opinions. A critical examination of culture and society through the eyes of a socially conscious black man. Featuring the reviews, rants, and reports by your host, Brother Ray. It just keeps getting worse. I can't even explain how horrific this tragedy is. Not only do you shoot an innocent black man for a busted tail light, but a four year old sitting in the back seat with her mother sitting right next to her boyfriend bleeding out and the officer a few feet away with his gun still pointed at the dying driver and the pleading mother gets dragged out of her car handcuffed put into a squad car after witnessing her boyfriend be killed in front of her eyes and her daughter being stripped away and afterwards the police not only admit to the killing of a man but as they describe the other two others in the car weren't harmed I beg to differ When the little girl says to her mother that the police are bad guys, how is she not harmed? When the mother of that four-year-old girl is screaming out in prayer that you just, that you didn't kill someone in front of her eyes that she loved. How is she not harmed? When people come to the streets and protest, how are they not harmed? When a mother is not even allowed to ID the body to her dead son, how is she not harmed? When every young black male has to walk out of their house, walk down the street, drive a vehicle, stand in front of a convenience store, how are we not harmed? Every black man, woman, boy, girl, child, makes no difference we're all harmed we're all affected this misery is not individualized in single cases and it's not just taking the unified attack in consideration it's the effect Um, these individual families on the entire community now we can be enraged we can protest we can hold signs we could chant slogans we can get on YouTube channels and social media and give our views and show our emotions what must be done is a systematic approach into direct action being made we're tired of talking the things that are occurring aren't something that are just happening they're just getting caught on film 
This has been the same systematic attack that black people have been screaming and crying and trying to expose since the beginning of the conquest of the Americas. Now here we are in 2016. Black people uniting under a cause of struggle, still looking, seeking, pleading for equal rights because in that white neighborhood, that black man was not treated equal to a white's life. And you have these faces that continue to show their colors, that badge and that blue against your color, skin deep, soul deep, we gotta unite black people in our communities, we have to localize our efforts and bring into a national forum to create actual change. There is an attack. There is an attack on us black people. And we must defend ourselves. We have to coalesce with one another, come together on one common cause the survival, the preservation, the liberation, and continue progress of black people. Peace and power.